Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me at this time. My name is Shavi Zane, and I'm coming on to bring a message for the chosen. If you find that this resonates with you in any way, please be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and let us know how it resonates with your circumstance. So first of all, chosen, this message is specifically geared towards those of you who are spiritual warriors out there, and you are not afraid to tap in to those natural gifts, that divine power that the Most High Mother and Father has gifted you. This message is for those of you out there who are ready to see a massive change take place in this world. So as I was walking today, you know, I was outside stumping the pavement, enjoying a nature walk. I heard it's time. And when I thought about it, my spiritual team said it's time to awaken the ancestors. And so it's time for us to definitely do a declaration this is what we're going to put on a candle, okay? Now, obviously, when two or more come together, that's where power lies. So I know that there's at least one more of you out there who's going to do this declaration with me, but we definitely need to do a declaration to awaken not just any ancestors, though. We're tapping in and awakening the warrior ancestors, the ancestors that were in their divinity, the ancestors who are all about justice and righteousness, so on a candle, you want to put, I declare and decree that all ancestors of righteousness, justice, divinity are now awakened from sleep and that they rise to bring justice and righteous judgment upon the heads of our enemies yesterday, today, and tomorrow in spirit and in flesh across all timelines, realms, and dimensions, known and unknown. Now, I'm not going to repeat that again, so y'all going to have to go back and rewind it for those of you who want to do this ritual with me. And the reason why we're being called to do this now is because for a long time, you know, the powers that were, they knew that this time was coming. They knew that you chosen, you would be awakening from sleep and that you would step into your calling and your purpose to do great things. But this goes beyond what you would do here in the 3D. It goes beyond being a humanitarian. It goes beyond, you know, um, speaking to the youth or healing the sick. It goes beyond, you know, spiritual readings or whatever it is you've been called to do, whatever your purpose is, it goes beyond that 3D purpose. We're talking about spiritual purpose. They knew that you were coming and they knew that you would be the one that the ancestors would answer to. You would be the one that they would rise up for. Not those low vibrational karmics that have been surrounding you who don't have a divine connection, not to the most high mother and father and not to, you know, within the higher their higher selves. And they don't have it, a connection to their lineage, their ancestral uh, lineage. They don't have that divine connection. But the powers that were understood that you are different chosen. You have a divine assignment that allows you to tap in on different realms and into different dimensions and different timelines. And you're able to see things. You're able to know things. You would be the one that would have that war that warrior rebel spirit. You would be the one that will come in and break the chains that had been long held on the ankles of your ancestors for many, many, many generations. You would be the one to answer the call. And so there's been a whole lot of, you know, conspiring and, you know, planning, you know, all types of treachery and just, you know, evil doings to keep you asleep and to prevent you from getting to this place right here where you would say, OK, not only have I awakened, but now it's time for me to awaken those who preceded me. It's, it's time to awaken those who was here before me. Those who started a mission but didn't quite complete it because they was waiting for this time right here in the age of Aquarius for you to come, for you to step into your divinity chosen. And now you're here. And so this is not for everybody because everybody is not in that place where they're ready to tap into that 
power that has been given to you to awaken the ancestors because some people still in fear. Some people are still too afraid to take on this type of assignment. I'm talking to those spiritual warriors out here who understand the purpose behind everything. I'm talking to those spiritual warriors out there who understand that energy is very much so real. It cannot be destroyed. It can only be transferred or transmuted. And so even though these ancestors, their physical vessels are no longer here, their energy and their spirit carries on forever. And many of them have not stepped into that purpose of shifting things just yet because you haven't called on them chosen. You haven't spoken to them directly and said, hey, I want to, all of you awaken, all of you rise up, all of you. It's time to start establishing judgment upon the heads of our enemies. It's time to start shifting some things in the spiritual realm so that we can reclaim what is inherently ours. It's time to start removing smoke screens and curtains to expose the wicked ones and to bring down their empire. So now we call on them directly. We do this ritual to awaken the ancestors of righteousness, of divinity, and of justice. They're ready, y'all. And they've been waiting on us to just give them the word. And that's exactly what it's time to do. Why? Because we are on the, vi the right vibrational frequency to carry out any and every assignment they give us to do here in the 3D. So we give them directive to do what they do in the spiritual realm. And they give us directive to do what we do here in the 3D. So we're still working together. Because as above, so below. So we need warriors, not just here in the 3D, but warriors in the spiritual realm. And so now we have been given the assignment to call on them and to let them know, yes, it's time. We call on you to awaken and to carry out where you left off in terms of bringing balance back and restoring our inheritance, our birthright and our sovereignty. It's time, y'all. And this is one of the biggest things that the powers that were, were uh, afraid of because they recognize that there's no greater arsenal, there's no greater weapon than to be able to have a sword in the spiritual realm. There's no greater weapon. You can have as many missiles as you want here in a 3D. You can have as many you know, uh, atomic bombs and, you know, chemical, you know, bio weapons, whatever you want to carry here in the 3D. There is no greater weapon than being able to have spiritual authority, high ranking spiritual authority in the spiritual realm, because the powers that were recognize that it starts there first. A kingdom is first built in a spiritual realm before it can manifest and materialize in the physical and this is why the powers that were spent so much time putting emphasis on creating an illusionary God for you and for your ancestors, because they recognize that if you prayed to that illusionary God, if you believed in that illusionary God, if you gave all of your power and your strength over to that illusionary God, then in the spiritual realm, you hold no power. But the moment that you release that, and you became the rebel and you released your fear of judgment by society. You released your fear of judgment by your family members, your friends, your lovers. You released that fear of judgment of being called a witch, a warlock, that fear of judgment of being called, you know, a non-believer. Once you cleared all of that out and you started to come into remembrance of who you are and started to realize your relationship to the most high became that much more powerful simply by letting those things go. That's when the most high in your spiritual team said, oh, they ready now. They're ready now. It's time to start moving now because, see, we got the right frequency here in the 3D in order to call on a shift in the spiritual realm. You got to have something here in the physical plane to match what's being created in the spiritual. Just like you got to have something in the spiritual to match what's being created here in the physical. And so in the past, when the powers that were, were actually in control of humanity, they most definitely had a spiritual reflection of the physical kingdom that they created here. The spiritual 
uh, belief, the, the illusionary God, the deity that most people worshipped, was most certainly a clear reflection of the disrupted um, wicked kingdom that they had created here in the 3D. Because the God that you worship would have been that of a blood sacrifice, right? The God that you worship would have been an image of a European homosexual murderer. <laughs> so he was most certainly on the right frequency in the spiritual realm to help create a kingdom of corruption here in the 3D. But now that you have released that and you're no longer praying to that deity that was handed to you and your ancestors, you create a different atmosphere in the spiritual realm, which in turn structures a new kingdom here in the physical. So when we start to structure a kingdom, what we need in place is foot soldiers, what we need in place is kings and queens. We need gods and goddesses. We need high priests and high priestess. We need healers. We need seers. We need teachers. We need all of these different things. And that's what's being created here in the 3D. That's why the chosen have awakened and stepped into our calling and in our purpose to carry on these particular assignments, right? And so as above, so below. Our ancestors also hold their position. They also have their own assignments that still must be played out there in the spiritual realm where they are. And yes, we can, we have direct access to them. Why? Because we are spirits having a human experience. So for those people in the back who want to say, oh, well, it's wicked to, you know, uh, speak directly to your ancestors because that's the dead. No, it's wicked to talk directly to the dead that's walking right here in the 3D. That's what's wicked. That's what's treacherous to a man's soul is continuing to operate and to be amongst the sleeple and the sheeple. But to connect directly to your ancestors who had already awakened, who had not been trodden down and um, who had not bought into the illusion of what the powers that were fed them. No, we're talking to the ancestors who knew who they were. We're talking to the healers. We're talking to the seers. We're talking to the teachers. We're talking to the shamans. We're talking to the spiritual warriors. We're talking to the judges. We're talking directly to those ancestors of divinity and righteousness. And those are the ones that we are awakening and calling on to step in on our behalf to help to shift the energy here in the 3D experience, both the spiritual and 3D experience. We have our position, they have their position, and they was just waiting for us to collaborate and to come together in order to make this happen. So this is not for everybody. Everyone will not receive this assignment and say, oh, I know that this is for me. And that's fine, because we all have our positions to play, but just know it's time now. It's time now. And I don't know what's going on with the planetary alignments. If y'all have any clarity out there, let me know in the comments below because something has shifted. I can feel it in my energy, warrior mode. I can feel it in my energy that something is shifting right now to where we're being called to take this a step further. And we are also being called to collaborate and to call on those of us who were here before us who are ready to finish out what they came here to do through us and with us. So that's my message for you all. Let's get those candles lit. If you are going to be a part of the team, the spiritual warriors who know it's time to awaken the ancestors of righteousness and divinity, leave a comment below. Let us know that you're on board. Write this on your candle. Give thanks to the most high and your spiritual team for working in unison with you to help bring this to pass because it's time, y'all. That's my message. I love you all. Like, subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all next time.